Hi everyone, Anna here. I'm making a video about how my life has radically and pretty rapidly changed in the last few months. Recently, I've stopped being able to use my legs. Now this is really, really bad news for anybody. It's especially bad news for me because I make a living out of mountain biking. A big proportion of my yearly salary comes from making videos about riding. And I'm planning all of those at the moment. But the problem is, is that I can't use my legs. This has obviously been really, really difficult. It's been a huge adjustment. We have a few ideas now of what we think is going on. We actually think it's a reaction to some other medication that I'm on, completely unrelated to my legs whatsoever. Whoever reads the labels of medication, I've never bothered it in my life, but one of the side effects of this medication says sudden and severe leg cramp and muscle fatigue. Now, my leg problem started around about the time that I started taking this medication, so that seems like the most obvious solution at the moment, and that's the direction that we're going in in terms of trying to heal. So I've come off that medication now, I, it's going to take a few weeks for it to come out of my system, and by then we should be able to tell whether I'm improving or not. So fingers crossed, please everyone wish me luck because I'm going out of my mind. Something that I've done to try and keep my spirits up and to get me out the house and to stave off the boredom really is I've invested in hiring a wheelchair. It's not a Cannondale, but it's got wheels. Now I would have always thought that a wheelchair is something associated with disability. But since hiring it, it's really opened up my eyes. I see it as something that's actually, it's enabling. It's not, it's not about disability. It's about ability. It's about enabling people. It's about helping you be able to do things. Since deciding to rent a wheelchair, I just looked it up online. I was like, wheelchair to hire. I found somewhere around the corner. Um, it was 40 quid for a week and it seemed like a really good idea and my god was I in a good mood the first time I used it and I got out of the house and got down to the beach for the first time in a few weeks and it just put the biggest smile on my face. So here's a little video about some of the things that I'm getting up to and just, just kind of what it's like really. Um, the important thing with me is that I'm not confined to a wheelchair. I can't be on my feet for more than about five or ten minutes without getting severe cramps and extremely fatigued. So the wheelchair is an aid. I'm lucky enough that I'm able to get out of it. And that is so important around here where I am um, in my winter home in Torremolinos because the pavements are disgusting. I literally don't know what people would do if they weren't able to walk. I don't know what people would do if they were weak and they were trying to push the wheelchair because I'm really relying on the strength of my boyfriend for getting me around it sometimes. So yeah, it's really given me like certain things to think about. When we got on the train the other day, I was with my dad and he was like, well, how are we going to get you on the train? And I was like, no, it's cool, they've got doors and we'll just go up the little ramp thing. And, and I was like, anyway, if they don't, then I'll just get out the chair and help you take it on. He was like, no, no, whatever happens, do not get out the chair in front of people. <laughs> and it, it has that effect. I do feel like a little bit of a fraud when like we wheel up somewhere and I just hop out of the chair. It feels like something out of Little Britain. <laughs> Carrying on with trying to keep positive, trying to find solutions and generally get myself fit and healthy because obviously the main goal at the end of all of it is to get me back on my bike again. So here's to 2018, to health and recovery, and here's a big shout out to anybody else who's suffering with any problems of their own at the moment. Please do subscribe to my channel if you want to follow this journey, and hopefully by spring, I'll be posting videos of all the cool and amazing places that I'm riding. That is, that is what I hope that I'm gonna be posting for you guys coming up. So thanks everyone for following and subscribing, and enjoy the video. to go on the road I end up having to get out the wheelchair which is great because I can so that we can lift the wheelchair up onto the slope and then go down it so what on earth do you do if you've got a pram or if you're so disabled that you actually can't get out the wheelchair it's outrageous it's really 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 disgusting disgusting <laughs> 
Yes. Oh wow. Mira la nieve. Sí. Pero por voluntad propia, ¿sabes? <laughs> so this is a problem. We've come to get a um, a wall planner because we're super disorganized with our time half the time. And I really want to go in and have a little look at the stuff. No stuff on the outside. So I'm going to kind of go and risk the pain of it and get out and walk around the shop. But what if you can't? Yoga. Uh oh. para el que tiene que llevar la silla. Now what? What the <laughs> What? It's a good thing ah. you're strong. It's rubbish. Oh. Oh. No importa la silla. Sí,